I'ma be happy. I'ma be good. You better believe it. I'ma be happy. I'ma be good. Get that understood. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Amina Mahogany, back again to do another video. So, as you can see, I have on a face mask right now. I've been wearing makeup all day, but I wanted to do this review for you guys. You know what it is. The Fenty Beauty Foundation by Rihanna. So, as you saw in the title of this video, I am just doing the foundation review because... That's all I bought. That's all I had coins for. So that's what I'll be doing in today's video. I will be getting the whole line of products very soon. And when I do, I'll do another review of the products. But I know that there's a lot of women out there, a lot of Facebook beauty bloggers who bought the entire collection. And you might have already seen everything about the entire collection. But... I'm going to do what I have. I have the foundation. I've tried it today and I want to bring it on here to you guys. So just stay tuned. Okay, so now that my face is clean again, I have a little bit of breakout there. But that's because I put on that mask and it brought up a lot of stuff to the surface of my skin. Um, as you can see, I still have a lot of dark marks. I will be working on that very soon and following Natural Nisi's method for getting clear skin and getting rid of dark marks. But right now, we're focused on the Fenty Beauty products, so let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do my primer and my eyebrows, and then I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about the foundation when I come to that step. <laughs> okay so i know what you're thinking that my eyebrows look terrible but just wait just wait Okay, so my brows are done for now. We will finish them as I'm doing my foundation. So next, I'm going to move on to my eyes, and we'll see what I do. What I do know is I'll be using the Juvia's Place Saharan Palette and Masquerade Palette for my eyes. And to set the LA Girl Pro Concealer that is on my eyes, I'm just using a mixture of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Medium Deep and the Glossier 
wilder and deep dark. So right now in my crease, I'm just taking a blending brush and I'm going in with the color Ada from the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm just gonna mix that in. That's gonna be a transition color. I don't always do my shadow first, but I want it to just so that it wouldn't fall onto the foundation once I put it on. So next I'm going to go in with Fulani, and I'm just going to mix that in with Ada. It then looks way more lighter and pinkish on camera than it actually is. Let me try to adjust the lighting. No, it still looks pink sort of on camera, but it's brown and kind of like a mauve color. So next, I'm going to go in with Makita, and I'm going to just put that on my lid. And you do need some type of spray on your brushes. I use my Urban Decay setting spray, but some type of spray on your brushes when using the shimmer shades from Juvia's Place. But everything is extremely pigmented, so there's nothing wrong with using a little setting spray to help the brush pick up the color a little bit. And it's actually almost 9 o'clock at night, and I'm not going anywhere tonight, so I'm going to have to take all this makeup off when I finish this video but you know what it's worth it because I'm trying new colors that I haven't tried before in these palettes and I get to show you guys what I think of the Fenty Beauty foundation I'm not gonna put on lashes just because I wore lashes earlier today and I don't want to um flare up, you know, like my eyelids, especially when I'm wearing lashes tomorrow when I go out. So I'm just going to use mascara today, but I am using one more color in the center of my lid. And I think I'll go with Zola. I mean, like, these shadows are so creamy. Let me show you. So there's my eye look. And here's the palette. So I used Zola. And I used Makita. And then I used Ada and Fulani. Okay, so now, what we've all been waiting for. Now I'm going to move on to do the foundation. So, here it is. Right here. My shade is 450. And the directions say to shake it very well before you use it. It's very watery. Um, I'll show you a glimpse of it. This is the packaging that the foundation comes in. Really cute. And it has nice matted luxury glass. And it says Fenty Beauty. And if you're looking for a size estimate, this is 32 milliliters, 1.08 ounces, and it's $34. You can get it at Sephora. You can get it at um, on FentyBeauty.com. I'm not sure the other places you can get it, but I bought mine at Sephora. So... I've been shaking it up and has a nice pump. And so I'm just going to show you a swatch and what it looks like. So as I said, you can see it's very watery, but it's definitely full coverage as you will see in a second. So what I like to do is I like to just go ahead and tap my finger into the foundation and dab it. 
all over my face. You don't need a lot because, as I said, it's very full coverage. So you don't want to take too much. I think the reasoning for it being kind of watery is so that it can be comfortable if it's built, if you build it up, it'll be comfortable. I um, built it up today when I wore it earlier and it was definitely comfortable all day. It felt just like my skin, looked just like my skin. Um, I see it's kind of orange on camera, but you'll see by the end of the video how it oxidizes and blends in and melts in perfectly with your skin and whatever um, setting powder you use. So, I'm not sure if this goes for everybody, but it does kind of tingle on my skin when I put it on. But I, other than that, I haven't had any um, issues with it. To me, that's not really an issue. It's just like a side effect. But I haven't broken out from it or anything like that. So I'm going to go on ahead and take my damp beauty blender to blend this in. So as you can see, even on my problem skin, it's covering up all my dark marks. And honestly, if I was going out to eat or something like that, I would build this up much more. But since I'm not going anywhere and I'm just doing this for you guys, I'm going to just leave one coat of it on. In this case, I might need to add some more foundation just because it is a matte foundation. I don't know if I said that before, but this is definitely a matte foundation and it dried down so quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit more. And obviously this will look a lot smoother if you have perfectly clear skin, but I don't. Um, I'm praying that once I start the skin routine, that I will have perfectly clear skin by 2018 just because I've had problem skin my whole life. But as you can see, it's covered every every dark mark on my face. Like this foundation is definitely full coverage and matte for people who are very oily like me. And I didn't buy the primer, but I did see Patricia Bright's review on the makeup said that the primer was more hydrating than it is for mattifying. And so I'm not sure if I'll buy the primer, but I probably will just because I love Rihanna and I didn't I don't invest in the Fenty Pumas, but I do love makeup, so I will invest in the makeup. So now that I put on the foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the look. And I'm just going to use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay, so one thing that I do find is that the powders and this foundation do not go together real well. Because as you can see, I'm starting to have a lot of breakup of the foundation there. And it didn't look like that before I put the powder on. So maybe next time... I'll try it without the powder and see how it works, but it's looking really not okay right now after I just put the powder on. And so I decided that I'm going to go back into Zola and put that on my bottom. Like, I'm really not liking that.
but we're gonna finish the look anyway. So to be a little spicy, I think I'm gonna go with a black lip. And this is Bold Chick by ColourPop. And finally, because I did not buy the highlighter from Rihanna, I'm just going to go ahead and use Wisp by ColourPop just to keep it kind of natural with this black lip. But it goes on very smooth with this foundation. So that is one of the pros about this foundation is that everything is very smooth. The only problem that I see is it reacting badly with the setting powder that I use. And maybe it's because I use the setting powder on top of my primer, which is breaking it up. Or maybe, so maybe next time I won't use a setting powder. On top of my primer um, but I am having a lot of product breakthrough as you can see here that wasn't happening before so um, that's the only thing that I'm experiencing that's not negative but a bummer um, so next time, tomorrow, I'll be wearing the foundation again and I will try it without putting the foundation, the setting powder on the bottom of my foundation and I will film that and I will come back and I will let you guys know how I feel about that. But for right now, this is the end of this video. Just final thoughts about this here foundation. It's great. It's watery. It's buildable. It's not too thick. It feels just like your skin. It's soft to the touch. It has a matte finish. It's full coverage. It's affordable. It's $34. And it's Bariana. Like, like, like. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment or a question below. If you have any, please like this channel, share the video, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace, love, and blessings to you. So, I did actually go back the next day and try the foundation without putting my setting powder on top of my primer. And it didn't really have that much breakup. It still did have a little bit. But, um... What I noticed is that the foundation has pineapple and papaya extract in it, which I am allergic to, which is probably why I've had a lot of itching on my skin with the foundation, as well as it contributes to the breaking up on my skin on the foundation. Into the end of